everybody, Laura Longo here from lauralongo.com. How's everybody doing today? When you come on, say who you are, where you're watching from. Love to be able to chat with you. Today is going to be like totally informal. I usually like try to plan out something about around what I'm going to say before I come on. And today is just um, talking about a little bit of what I've learned um, that got me here. And um, maybe just a few tips on... That, that I think may help you out. So I, you know, I had recently just um, gone to this amazing three-day event and have so much to share with you around that, but today is not gonna be about that because I've been meaning to come on and share that and get myself organized around what I wanna say so I can present that in a, a great way, but my energy just hasn't been there. Um, I just today got back from a really close friend's mother's funeral and um, so just ha haven't been in the right mindset to be able to do that for you just yet but I will it's coming so don't stay tuned for that um, but like I said I just I just got back from my friends and I just it hurts me it hurts me that she's hurting you know and I, I love her so much um, that I just hate that she's going through this right and so what I want to talk about a little bit is, you know, she's a friend of mine. I, we were friends from when we were, we were 10, I guess. We were 10 and we were, we were close. We would, just, we would go play, you know, play, spend like the entire summers together. And um, when the very few times I rode my bike as a child, I would ride with her. She used to ride to my house all the time. She was really into it, still is. Um, had so much, so many great times. Lost touch a little bit over the years then reconnected. Um, when I moved to Mullica Hill and what I want to talk about is I got involved with the Tri Club in the area, the Women's Tri Club, and we reconnected because she actually lives one, well lived one mile from me and we would, re we reconnected that way. And so what I kind of want to do is talk about that as a catalyst for my lifelong commitment to ex pursuing health every single day pursuing wellness and self-love every single day because had it not been for the triathlon club that I'm a part of, I probably wouldn't be doing that. I, I know I probably, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Um, so when I was introduced to the tri club, um, I just moved to Mullica Hill. I just had had my second daughter. Now I ran, um, a, you know, a couple miles here and there on the treadmill to stay, you know, keep my body looking a certain way, um, but never had biked since the only times I had biked as a kid with Christine, very few, <laughs> and I um, didn't ever swim, like I could just, you know, tread water, but I had no idea. So when people were saying, you know, a bunch of my neighbors were going to this meeting and they were asking me to go, and I was so far into the idea so well out of my comfort zone, but I was very inspired by these amazing women who put this tri club on and within a few days went out and bought a bike, started swimming in a pool. It was just really crazy <laughs> that I was doing that. Um, but that really led to this lifelong journey of pursuing health and and maybe for the for better reasons because before the Tri Club, um, before I was introduced to the Tri Club, I was not in the best place, I guess. I mean, I would not say by any means I was at any kind of rock bottom, but, you know, I would drink. I would drink, not every day or anything, but when I would drink, I would drink. And I would drink a lot. And I was a mom, you know, and I just wasn't something I was proud of. And not only that, but when I would work out, I, you know, I, my workouts would be to make my body look a certain way. And so what the Tri Club did for me is, you know, hey guys, am I still on? If you're on, just say hello, because I, I um, it was saying it was trying to reconnect and I'm not sure what that was about because I'm on Wi-Fi. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. I know there's a delay, so I'm just gonna keep going and um, hope that this is still live. <laughs> so, um, so, Basically, the, the Tri Club also instilled 
belief in my, me believing in myself. It, um, I, I began to work out and to train and to do all these things as a celebration of what my body could do, not as a punishment for you know what I ate or anything like that. Hey, Todd, I'm glad you could stay. Thank you, thank you for that. So I, it was just totally different. It, it, it led to me pursuing so many different things and um, eventually was introduced to the company I'm with and even started a business around it, which is something I totally was not <laughs> interested in doing um, when I was first introduced to it. But what happened was I was introduced to this line of products, this brand of products by a friend, my neighbor, and her integrative doctor actually convinced me to try it. Um, someone who was very, very much into natural health and within a week I felt amazing. And so it just so naturally went hand in hand with this pursuit of health, right? And even at that, you know, I would have been happy to be a consumer, but what happened was I felt so good that I started telling people and accidentally started a business kind of where I was really resistant to it because I was finally home with my kids after working corporate for corporate finance for 11 years. So kind of all came full circle, um, you know, had these friendships this community of people, um, similar to the Tri Club, just amazing, amazing people uh, that uplift you, like in the Tri Club, and it's, it's kind of similar with with the the people in my company um, that I, I partnered with. So just incredible, um, an incredible experience, really. And so that's been my journey. And I was yesterday. I was working at a health fair, and. I was, you know, just talking to people and showing them, you know, how to get the best out of their workouts, make the most out of their workouts, and how uh, to simplify nutrition and what what we what I've done. And by no means am I an expert. I just know what I've used and what's worked so well for me and so many people that I've shared it with. So many people that I've shared it with um, since then. And if I can help someone, you know, like that just makes me feel really good. If I can help someone feel as good as I do, right? And so that, it it just, you know, kind of came full circle to today. I was, you know, at my friend's funeral, we're talking, my friend's mother's funeral, and we're talking, and we're talking about, you know, we're committed to like lifelong fitness, right? Lifelong health, because that's gonna keep us young, you know? Move. Oh, I got it back. Okay, I think I'm back. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know why I keep losing connection. It's never happened before in this room, but, okay. So that's basically what I want to share. So just some tips for you, you know, to find something that you're passionate about. Find something you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be about health, you know, that's something I'm passionate about. And find a way to make it part of how you create an income. Find it, make it, find a way to make it be a way that you can pay it forward, even if it's not an income, you know. Um, be open to exploring new opportunities, even if they sound so far out of the realm of what your normal is, <laughs> because had I not said yes to going to that meeting, uh, so it, it entirely, that, that meeting ent entirely changed the trajectory of my entire life. And I think for the much, much better, right? So be open to exploring different, different things especially if it's going to be something that could improve your life, um, your health. And um, we didn't even talk about this much, but either that, that, that self-love, that instilling a belief in yourself and that, that doing things because you're celebrating what your body can do, not because you're punishing your body. Celebrate, celebrate what your body can do, right? So um, find a group of people, uh, like the triathlon club was for me. Now that like, my team now, in my company is for me. Find a group of people. Oh, thank you, Ryan. That's so sweet coming from you. You're awesome. Ryan McMorris is on here. Um, he's a rock star. Look him up. <laughs> so you find a group of people who are going to challenge you, who are going to to love on you, or who are going to lift you higher. Um, and that's what the triathlon club did for me. That's what my team does for me. And that's what I want to do for other people, okay? And, you know, in light of 
what's happened with my friends, my friend's mother. Um, just love, appreciate every moment you have with your family. Appreciate them. And sometimes it's hard when <laughs> you're in a, you know, I, I know as a mom, you sometimes it's easy to get frustrated and try not to use that word, but uh, it's easy to get caught up and just really love on the people that you love and let them know that you love them because you never know, you know? Um, just hurting for my friend and I just, I just love her, you know? So those are my tips. If you have any questions, the triathlon, the triathlon club meeting is 27th? It's February 27th, um, the evening of the 27th, if you're local, if you have any interest whatsoever in joining me as my, my guest, come join me. Um, it's, it's an amazing group of people. Um, if you have any interest in openness to learning more about how I'm creating an income uh, by making an impact on other people and, and hopefully in their, in their health and their, their life, um, then shoot me a message. I'd be happy to talk to you about that too. I uh, love you guys. Thank you for watching. I know this was a lot of rambling. <laughs> Usually come prepared. Just wanted to come out and share my heart after today. I'm just feeling very emotional and um, happy that you were able to join me and watch. So thank you for being here. Love you guys. Bye.